What's up guys, Vanessa here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys, or not show, showing you guys, I'm going to be talking about freshman advice. Um, I just finished freshman year, ninth grade, and I mean, I could say it was quite an experience. A really good one. And um, yeah, so I'll be showing you some advice. I jotted some down to help you guys, so I'm going to have like... Do's and don'ts because there are, I don't want to be all negative with this whole video so I wanted to have some positive. And yeah, so I guess I'm going to start out how my freshman year went. I have to say my school, we're like one of the, I guess you say top 10 schools in the US and, or maybe top 20, I don't know, but we're a pretty like, like hardcore homework work high school so I mean I know lots of other people don't really go to a high school that's like really um, work 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 they're more just like lenient just maybe your neighborhood high school but mine is just like a really tough tough school so maybe if you are in one of those where you're taking AP classes IB classes then this is a perfect video for you because um, not I haven't seen many videos about um, these kind of schools so I guess my um, do's and don'ts for freshmen are a little different so they might be a little like so let's get started I get to hang out with my friends very much during like the weekends or um, to just do anything like even go hang out like shopping we didn't even have that time to like do anything it's so sad oh my gosh but that's like the only thing I guess I could say that wasn't like really fun about high school is like where I had to do work, 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 just more work. And yeah, so it's that's about it. And what else happened? Um say not really not much things happened in freshman year. The fact that like half my middle school, more than like seventy five percent of them decided to go to the same high school. And so yeah, I basically knew everybody. It was just kinda like middle school versus this middle school versus this middle school and ours was like bam like the majority yeah so yeah so I mean classes weren't as awkward for me because I basically knew about everybody in my class I mean I did make some new friends and here and there but basically yeah I knew everybody and they knew me I knew them were like um freshman year they said is one of the hardest school I took as I think I said in previous um, videos, I did one AP class in freshman year and I did AP World. Well, most high schools do AP Hug and stuff like that, um, but AP Hug is actually an elective for one of, for our school. So, um, but yeah, so let's get started into the do's and don'ts. Don't slack off whatsoever if you're in like the IB program or even an AP class or even an honors class. Do not slack off. Like, your homework will literally pile like this to the top of the world. Like, you will not finish it. There's no way you can get it all done if you just, like, wait until the last minute or, like, or you come home, um, just, like, watch TV the whole time and then, oh, after dinner, 10 o'clock, oh, I have homework. You are not going to finish it at all. So, I suggest you. Don't do that. Do not put your work off the side. I mean, I did just for a little bit. But it was because, like, I had other things to do, like sports and activities and stuff like that. But do not, if you know, if you have time, do not just, like, put it off or anything like that. Don't, like, be late to class. That's, like, the worst thing you can do. Unless if you have, like, a pass or something, yeah, you can get by. But teachers hate it and you do not want to get on the teacher's, like, bad side because that's going to help you either bring up your grade if you have like a borderline like 79 or yeah so don't do that cuz and it's not cool it's gonna be really awkward like even though freshman year is gonna be like the first first quarter it's gonna be an awkward kinda like nine weeks so it's gonna be even more awkward if you're kinda late so I suggest to go um, find your classes during orientation when you get your schedule and lockers and everything like that Go find out where your classes are because that's what I did and it helps so much. So you're not like looking like panicking, asking people where your classes are, stuff like that. So, and also uh, write down like the bell schedule on your planner so you know when the bell rings so you can like get like get ahead of the game. Just 
keep going. Don't mess around during like class when teachers are teaching because then they just get sidetracked and high school teachers usually don't tolerate that. Like they don't like you goofing off, talking, whispering, even like they don't like you doing that and like I said if you get on their bad side it's not good and the only thing that I could say that would change that if you're really smart and you do just good and they just know you're just like goofing off but Yes, but not least, but do not be like the cool, like, do not try to be the coolest kid on the block. Like, yeah, I'm like friends with 20 seniors and like 15 juniors, and I knew everybody in the sophomore class. Just, just don't do that, no. Like, I mean, that's like what everyone says, don't try to be like so cool, but yeah, you can be friends, like I said, with like several people here and there, just, and um, talk to them, just say hey, don't try to be like, talking a whole conversation with the five minutes you have in class or to switch class so yeah I don't know alright so here are the do's so we're gonna end it positive do try to make as many friends as you can just like not everybody though like, okay this is sounds so contra contradicting but make friends because like in class if you have like usually they'll sit you alphabetical order I'm usually the last because my last name starts with a W so like try to make friends that are near you so maybe if they're in your like next class or some other class you guys can walk together so it's not as awkward where like you're just walking with your backpack just like walking to your next class you can always have like a friend next to you um, to talk to so you're not like yeah like I said all lonely so yeah so make friends and try to have a smile like just just a smile because everyone loves a smile and everyone's usually down or something and it could always brighten somebody's day up so yeah well, um, friends are very important because I mean like I said I had almost I had all my friends come with me throughout like middle school to my high school so I had I didn't really have to worry about um, making new friends or anything but in like the other case if you are like the only person from your middle school to high school um, many people are usually nice they're very welcoming for their like to for you to join the group like to start out you can go eat with them at lunch and like say hey like if if um, after second period is lunch and you like have kinda like a friend you've met in um, second period be like hey can we can I sit with you for lunch for today or something and then like you get to know them better and then you can like have like your seat or something at their lunch table um, but yeah um, and yeah also friends I said friends too many times, but they help you throughout the year because if you need help on homework or something, you forget it. You can just call them, text them, tweet them, Facebook them. I don't know. But yeah, so they really do help. They get you along. And yeah. Take advantage if you have A, B days, like block schedule for your high school because homework can be like a little easier on you. So. If it's A day and you get assigned homework, I suggest you to do it right away even though it's really hard to that you want to wait but you like want to start doing A day homework on A day and B day homework on B day because um, maybe one day you get like tired or sick or something, you have an extra day to finish it where it's not like, oh snap I have to finish it within tonight and just like, like stay up until 2 a.m. and then your school starts like at 7.30 whatever time high school starts for you guys but yeah so do try to do homework as soon as possible it's the best way I also am really good example I'm like a really good at math not trying to brag or anything but I just math just comes naturally to me and I usually do my math homework that day that like when I get assigned because I don't have to worry about it the next day where I have like four other classes of homework if your schedule block day was kind of like mine last year, where it was on A day, like all electives, and then B day, where it was all core classes, and you're just like, what? Um, what I did is, um, even though on A day I like rarely had homework, because it was, like I said, all my electives, and they don't really assign like heavy homework, so I usually like um, do some of my B day homework, and then on B day finish the other half of the homework if that makes sense yeah but yeah so that's what I did and sometimes a days I did have a little relaxing day because I had the electives 
but yeah, just try to have fun. Middle school, I meant high school. High school is just having fun, even though people do say it's like the best time ever. Trust me, it is not like high school musical whatsoever. People do not go just randomly singing on lunch tables or anything where everyone falls in love and stuff. No, uh-uh, no, 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 no. I'm involved with clubs, not like dance clubs. I meant not like bad clubs, but like clubs. Like literally we had so many clubs, it takes up like half of my yearbook. They had like sewing club, yearbook club, sports, just join sports. There's um, like best buddies club where you're paired up with like autism kids and just like having fun. And then there was like lots of drama clubs, just any kind of club you could imagine. You could basically start one. You just got to find a teacher to sponsor it. Well, that's how my school was. But yeah. Now for some tips and websites that I use to help me get through freshman year. Quizlet. Alright, so this is a website. I'll link it down below. It's just basically flashcards on the computer. It's really cool. I used it for AP World where you just take the word definition or even for like SAT words. That's what I use. And you can like go through them. It's really cool. They've actually like upgraded and do check out if your school does have like um, a site where you can see your grades and your like teachers websites because we have that and I can check my grade every day just to see what I got on tests, quizzes or homework so that's really good to keep up and so you know when to like go a little put a little more effort or just like okay I have an A I can just like relax a little bit but do like do your work and stuff Alright, so I can't think of any other websites that helped me, but if I do, I think I'll like link them down below or something. So, uh, give it a thumbs up that if you like this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye! By the way, the next video is my TV.